All right, all right, guys, let me show you what we're going to be talking about. I, I do think Wednesday is the day we keep our eye on as far as the nice weather returning. Kind of unsettled until then, and fog is going to end up being a problem as well. I think tomorrow morning uh, it could end up being very thick out there. We already have some fog advisories that have been issued. I'll go over that in just a moment. And then it, it does become really nice around here, Bart. Wednesday, Thursday as well, and then Friday you go back to a wet weather chance. Let's start it off by talking about uh, what we're seeing outside as of right now. Bring the picture down and get right to it. The Almanac shows you the high temperature. 52 degrees, typical would be 54, a little bit off the mark, uh, but all in all, kind of about what you expect temperature-wise this time of the year. 37 was your starting point, 38 should be your starting point, so there you have it. A little bit cooler than average in both categories, but just by a hair or so. We talk about this issue with the fog. Well, dense fog advisories have been put into alert. They stay in alert until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning for Fairfield County and for Suffolk County, but I do believe they're going to be pushing a little further west with the thicker fog as well. Future temperatures. All right, here we go. Put it into motion, and let's talk about what we have by the time we start off our morning. 8 o'clock in the morning, pretty uniform. You don't see that big spiking high temperature or that dropping low temperature north of the area. You're, for example, 43 in Newburgh. You're 40 in Armagh. You're 45 Toms River. 40 Montauk. 40 also in Stony Brook. So pretty uniform around the area. Then as you go through your day on Tuesday, again, you don't see a big difference. And the difference is we're now seeing a wind coming in off the water, and that water is going to sort of... It's going to sort of neutralize everyone. Everyone's going to be sort of in that, you know, that 50 degree mark, maybe a little bit higher in certain spots, 53 for Tom's River. And I know you see 49 for New York City. That's if you catch a really strong sea breeze and you never get out of that sea breeze. I think we may see a little bit uh, warmer reading earlier in the day. Vortex satellite and radar. Nothing more than a passing little shower out there for your night on the town. The bigger picture is going to show you. Here's the wet weather that we watch in Tennessee, in Kentucky, and this low pressure system is going to be making its push in our direction, and we're just going to be unsettled out there. So, how does it work? It works like this. Here we are, 10:30 tonight. Here we are into the morning hours, 5:30. Maybe some leading activity coming in. It's more likely to see the rain, the rain later in the day. And wherever you see those oranges or reds, those could be some heavy downpours. That's one o'clock in the afternoon on Tuesday. And here you are, 8 p.m. on Tuesday, still with us, but just wait it out. Wait it out. You'll get to Wednesday. Skies will part. Things look beautiful outside. All right, let's get right now to the and forecast, you can see all the numbers. We know that tomorrow's temperature is going to be somewhere between, we think, 50 and 55 degrees. We're starting to see more indications of a strong sea breeze kicking in, which would keep the temperatures down. But fog is going to be an issue, and rain is also part of the forecast. Wednesday, eh, look, maybe some cloud cover starts off the day, but it gets nice by the afternoon at 59. Thursday, you're 55 with a beautiful sky. Friday, you go back to a rain chance. Uh, <laughs> So, get, get a little bit, though. Yeah. You get, yeah, get a little Wednesday, bit of she's happy as a clam. That's it, right? <laughs> happy as a clam. Happy as a clam. Again, we haven't, we haven't qualified how happy clams are. That's, that's it. it. <laughs> right.